how do you treat people who do not use the SP prefix when creating their stored procedures? Uh, is that okay for you, or do you think everything should have a prefix? Oh, Mike, it's really interesting. There are actually people who say you should not create stored procedures with SP underscore. Because technically, when you run an SP underscore stored procedure, SQL Server checks the master database and then checks your current context. So it's ever so slightly slower for execution when they start with SP. When I create stored procedures for user databases, I tend to create them with USP underscore. So that way it's more obvious that it's a user stored procedure instead of a system stored procedure. Now, do I care what people name them? Not at all. I couldn't care less. I've seen people use uh, stored proc names as like get customer or insert customer. That's totally fine. You got to pick your battles, choose what the biggest problem is that you want to go tackle. And I find that I, I tend to let people make decisions that don't matter. Go ahead, make do whatever you choose to do on things that don't matter, but on the things that do matter, things like making sure you don't have uh, SQL injection risks in your dynamic SQL stored procedure, I'm going to be a lot more of a stickler about that.